how has it been for you working these last two years in the pandemic? Like the virtual teaching, the virtual learning. Because again, man, we talk about educating our kids mm-hmm. and we talk about educating kids, you know, who dealing with severe trauma. Yes. And you talking about kids who already have, you know, um, some struggles um, learning, you know, a- as it is. You talk about a pandemic and then you got to learn virtually on top of that. Mm-hmm. Man, I know a whole bunch of teachers that was like, man, fuck this. We <laughs> going, we going, are you here today? Did you brush right, your teeth? You right, cool? Yes, I'm just glad yes, to see you. You know yes, what I'm saying? So how has yes. that, how has that been for you? Um, you know, it was very eye opening for me. Mm-hmm. Um, I did enjoy it. Um, I liked teaching online. It was fun. It just, you didn't, you just had to be a little bit more innovative. And so you had to be a little bit more creative with that. So like that was enjoyable for me. Um, but the honest, raw truth of it was, um, it was tough because our kids didn't have internet, mm. let alone a laptop. <laughs> so then there was that. <laughs> so yeah. we had to work through that. Yeah. So then we were able to, okay, we got the grant to get them all Chromebooks, but now they don't have internet. So now we need hotspots. And we finally got them to have the hotspot, but now they internet. I mean, now their ele- lights are off. So the hotspot doesn't really work without electricity. So it's like there were all these just hurdles that we were just constantly working through. Um, and it was interesting because my grandmother, I don't know if I mentioned, my grandma's a teacher. Mm. Um, and she teaches in a very upscale area. Not, we teach night and day. And so to listen to her experience with her students and how they all had iPads and <sighs> nannies were making sure that they were logged on and they're asking you about homework and when are you going to, you know, I, we got none of that. Um, and we actually got to really see into their lives because we were virtual and because we were on camera, I was sitting in everybody's living room. So I was seeing the background and I was seeing the arguments and I was seeing the bottles. I was seeing the like little stuff that like, that doesn't make you a bad human, but like, you don't know to slide the bottles out the way because your kid about to hop on with their teacher. You know what I'm saying? Just like little things like that or realizing how many of them is living in one, one bedroom home or um, how inconsistent they are. May not even are. have no furniture to sit on. No. <laughs> <laughs> sharing, sharing a big old space with... I'm telling you. Five to ten other people. Yes. You, you know I'm what telling I'm saying? you. Like, literally, we, you can't... You don't say, go to the kitchen table. Because <laughs> somebody tried to say that, and they didn't have one. Right. <laughs> they don't have a kitchen table. Right. Ain't no... So ain't no, ain't hum- no. watch your mouth. <laughs> Humble right. yourself. Listen, I was... um. I was working, I was working still in the school system um, for like the first, the first year of the pandemic, right? Okay. Um, And I remember a teacher was upset with one of my students um, at the time and she was like, I told him to go find like a, you know, go go to his room or, you know, find a space in in the house so, you know, he can go and be in class. I'm like, that's not how it works. Mm-mm. You know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this this kid doesn't even have access to, to you know yeah. that 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 type of stuff. Right. Stuff at the or crib. go to his room. Ain't no room. Ain't no room. <laughs> he shared with his mom. Right. Right. At their grandma house. Uh-huh. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, and this is not me being stereotypical. These are like me thinking of humans as I'm saying this. Like, yeah. this is real. Or like, yeah. you know, it's not a. It's no help with homework. Like, it's not. It. I can remember a teacher similar, like complaining slash joking about her kids. Um, and she's like, uh, I mean, yeah, it's 830 in the morning and they're eating noodles. I mean, come on. And like, so they're laughing about it. Like, Raymond knows that. And I was like, um, that was probably all us in the pantry. Right. <laughs> Facts. Y'all might want to, everything is not them being idiotic or animalistic. Like this is real raw survival. None, none, none of it is. None of it is. It's all Yeah, none of it is. They're not, yeah, they're, it's just, and so when you have no idea of what that life even could remotely look like, then, yeah, you are left to make comments like that or go to your room. How'd that pull on you? Oh, yeah, no. It was, um, I said, that's probably all that's in the pantry. And uh, she was like, you, you think? And I was like, no, 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 I'm, I'm telling you, like, you have to think because they're not at school. We all have, we have free lunch. Free lunch, breakfast, and breakfast is free, lunch is free, and they get take-home bags for the weekend. You do realize that all of that was taken away when we went to the pandemic. So, yeah, boo, he's eating noodles because that milk he was getting from school. 
And so it was really one of those things where it's like, um, I don't have a problem like saying what needs to be said because I'm not going to be uncomfortable for your racial bias Correct. with my black kids. Correct. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know. Correct. Um, but I also feel I have a, it's my duty to let you know because you also are in charge of 30 black kids that you teach every day. So I probably should let you know that you shouldn't comment on noodles at 8:30. Correct. 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 Listen, when I um when I was when I was working um dur- during the pandemic and I was trying to, you know, I'm trying to provide services mm-hmm. with kids one on one, I'm trying to do group stuff and it just it it's not it's not it's not connected. Mm-hmm. You know, when we doing this type of work, we got to be in front of these right, kids. Like right, I have to right. be able to lay eyes on yeah, you. I got to see yeah, yeah. you know your affect. I want to see right. what was really going on. And through the pandemic, especially that early time of the pandemic, it was it was none of that. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. what I did was because of what you just said, man, the school lunch is taken away, the recess is taken away, the snack yeah, time all that yeah. is taken away. What I started to do was um I would go to the schools early in the morning and get lunches for like 30 to 40 kids and like that would be my oh. that would be my day at work yes. where I would just go drop off like wow. hella bags of lunches yes. and like they would be looking forward to it now oh, I'm sure. after, after a while after a while I could see like I would come back the next day you would still see the leftover mm-hmm. lunches still there mm-hmm. and all of that type of stuff but mm-hmm. man they was looking forward to that stuff and it gave them some level of familiarity to just seeing yeah. like all right Mr. John still rocking, like you know what I'm saying. Right. We ain't lost complete touch of what's going right, on in the outside right, world. Right, right, right. But man, it's it's the day to day stuff that people again have are complete ignorant to. You yeah. know that that our, that our kids are really you know um, really experiencing. 